Joe Monroe has it on the tee. Minnesota kicking from right to left, and we're underway. Great to have you with us this afternoon from the Metrodome. Damian Sims from about the nine. Did well to get it across the 20, fumble the football. But Tate has worked this year with a very young receiving core and an offensive line that has been constantly shuffled. Albert Young, nice hole off the left side of that line. Out across the 30. And the backs and receivers for the Iowa Hawkeyes, you just saw Albert Young. He'll carry the mail here today. Dominic Douglas, one of the finest freshman receivers in college football. And then on the offensive line, Marshall Yanda has had the best season of any of them. And they've been injury riddled up front. Second down, gain of nine to the previous play. That's Scott Chandler in motion. Chandler, a senior, Tate changing the play at the line. Maybe running out of time on the play clock. Down to four, down to three, hands it off to Young. To the outside, Young unable to get the corner. Van de Stegel for Iowa. At the Hawkeye 21. Young, did he get enough? Yes, he did. Just across the 31. Week, 25 carries, 124 yards. First down of the 34. Tate to the air. Nice safe pass, good catch on the flank. Position, but he's a guy that should get some snaps today as a senior. Second down, Albert Young to the outside. Oh, nice move up through a sliver of an opening. Consistent because Young has also been banged up, but if they can get it going today, that's what sets the table for this entire offense. Minnesota ninth in the conference in rushing yards allowed, 161 a game. Tate on the keep play. Have it. First down for the Golden Gophers. Fumble recovery made by Mario Reese. William Van de Steeg, who had the big game last week at Michigan State, triggered it loose. And this is Iowa Hawkeye football is to run the ball effectively early and then play action pass on the boot. And Van de Steeg is coming in from behind. And Tate just simply doesn't see him. There was nothing downfield in the play action pass. And then Tate as a quarterback, you're a ball carrier until you throw the football. You have to secure it better than that. That was the 25th turnover of the season, the 11th fumble lost by Iowa this season. Dupido lets it go down the sidelines, and it's broken up incomplete. Right? Offensive line, but he's been managing things at a very high level on this year. Second and 10. Quick toss to the flank. Logan Payne has it. This time the coverage a little bit looser over there. Bradley Fletcher setters position. Minnesota still running at an effective rate. Abir Penix, nice hole up the middle. 11. Up front, they really miss Kenny Webba at the defensive end spot opposite Brian Madison. In the linebacking core, they've been solid. Plinkenborg makes a lot of tackles. Miles like an extra safety. And in the secondary, Merrick and Pascal are hitters at the safety spots. First and 10, Minnesota moving sharply off the turnover by Drew Tate. This drive began to the 49-yard line of Iowa. They faked the reverse. Phoenix stopped for no gain as the season. Cupido to the air once again to the sideline route. This is Eric Decker, and again, their work back and receivers are on the same page. Decker at the bottom of your screen. Matt Smith, Spaith, the tight end in motion. Cupido under a blitz. Gets it away to Spaith. Inside the 10-yard line. Happy the best tight end, at least Glenn Mason says, the best tight end they've had here. And they had Ben Utech here, and he was pretty darn good playing in the NFL today. Hard run off the left side of here. Pinnick's touchdown, Minnesota. Touchdown run, Amir Pinnix. And he's closing in on a thousand yard rushing season. Extra point for the Golden Gophers, Jason Janini. And it is no good. Looked like a low snap and he pulled it left. Turnover table this season, Minnesota plus 13. Damian Sims about three yards deep, and he's coming out of there. Rip 
play made of the open field. Coming into today, now make it plus 13. First down for the Hawkeyes. Young. Mario Reese, the senior linebacker, brings... Obviously, the statistics back that up the last few weeks. Second and five. Tate on the rollout. Andy Brodell. Nice move to get around Jabal Harris in the down to Hawkeye 31. Albert Young. Not much there. Gets it out to about the 35. Gain of... To be in the Metrodome today. See, that's what a five-game winning streak in the series will do for you. <laughs> They were coming after the pig. Nine percent, seventh in the Big Ten on third down offense. Third and six, Tate, lots of time. Gets it away to Davis, tries to break one tackle, but is hit and stunned back. I believe he's going to be just short. Great third down defense by Minnesota. Andy Fenstermaker, Dominic Jones, slips by one defender. Gets across the 20 out to the 22. During the return, illegal block in the back. Number 25 on the return team. That penalty will be enforced 10 yards from the end of the run. First down. First down, Golden Gophers. Phoenix trying to get to the outside. And got these guys have been in that position for a while and been highly productive most of their career. Second and ten, Cupido. Good throw, Spath over the middle, dragging a defender with him out across the 20. Uh, something certain courses for certain horses. We always say that in horse racing. I think it applies in football, too. <laughs> Play action, Cupido under pressure. Matt Crowell makes the tackle. Only plays doesn't attract as much attention. Webb about out with shoulder surgery. Cupido back to throw on second and long. Good adjustment. Logan Payne, he's got it. Over the course of the season. First down, Sutton make a third down at about three. Cupido, tough throw there. I think that who's uh, sitting on the kick. Good looking punt here. If we were outdoors, that might bring snow. Back to the 12-yard line. Nice spin move here made by Douglas Boite. He got some good yardage on that return. Out of non-conference victory at home over Northern Illinois. Boy, good patience. Nice cutback. Good acceleration. Thank you much, Mike. Second down here and about four yards to go for the Iowa Hawkeyes. Trailing 6-0 first quarter. Young again showing good patience and this time just accelerated behind the block. First and ten. Safe pass. Bush running downhill. The fullback. Dock is slipping out to the flat and becoming a viable option. Young deployed in motion. Tate to the scene. Got a man wide open. Indy broke out to the end zone for the touchdown. Touchdown pass, and the Hawkeyes are right back. You didn't think six points was going to win this no, one, did you? Not at all. <laughs> not at all. The question was how consistent could Iowa play offensively to take advantage of the opportunities? That's a great example of them taking advantage right there. Kyle Schlicker, one of the best kickers in Iowa history. With the point after, and it's good. Slick. Austin Signor on the kickoff. Good high leverage into this kick. Dominic Jones coming out of there from three yards deep. To the 20. To the 25 30. Sifting through traffic just short of the 30. Out a little bit better than that. First and 10. Logan Payne. Close to the first down. Matter of fact, things figured out up front. They had to replace some guys, and they just started to get the feel the last couple of weeks. People underestimate, those of us that watch as fans underestimate the importance of that offensive line to making it work. It's first and ten line brought to you by Titan Technology Partners. Go to S2V.com to learn more about how Titan makes IT right. Logan Payne, a little wide receiver screen, steered out of bounds. Hi, Fletcher. Amir Penix just became the latest Minnesota thousand yard rusher on the previous play. And he gets it again. Inside the 40. 
Both sides moving. The and go either edge, whichever one looks best to Cupido at the line of scrimmage. Klinkenborg was also in on that previous tackle. Second and short. Phoenix, a little stutter step off the right side, trying to escape to the left. Edmund, such a great game to watch. Third down, less than a yard to go. They lost out on the measurement. Play action, Cupido looking deep. Logan Payne just barely out. Trying to go for fourth downs on 22 plays this season, making 13. Here comes Penix. Pile driving, that's all he had to do was get down inside the 33, inside the 31 of Iowa. Penix cutting it back one way, went the other way, and Usually zone blocking schemes are one cut. And Mason says he's done everything they've asked, but is not quite on the level, obviously, of a Maroney or a Gary Russell, the two backs they had here rushing for over 1,000 yards a year ago. And rightfully so. He's having a heck of a year as a rookie. Leading candidate for Rookie of the Year in the AFC. Cupido steps up, takes it down, and is pulled down. Close to the first down by Mannick North. It's fourth down for Minnesota, second time. Today they've gone for it on fourth down. Amir Penix does not disappoint. First down for the Golden Gophers inside the eye. Football well. Can't big story. About the offense yet. Yeah, the points off the turnover. The big story, and I think that's going to be the story today. Cupido. Touch pass down the sideline. Basically threw it away. He had 38 red zone possessions. 30 scores and 38 possessions overall. Ninth in the Big Ten. 13th play of the drive. Jay Thomas. Third down for Minnesota. Third and about two. Matt Spate, the tight end in motion. Thomas spinning his way off a sliver of a hole off the left side of the offensive line. He's got a first play of a drive that's already gone 61 yards in 14 plays and take it over five minutes off the clock. Spate again in motion. Whistles hold up the play. Penalty markers are down. False start, Gophers. Prior to the snap, false start, number 80 on the offense, five-yard penalty, still. Still first and goal to go at the 10-yard line of Iowa. Cupido to the corner of the end zone. Payne trying to come back for it, unable to get. From the end zone, you throw to the outside shoulder behind it. 17th play of this drive, second down. Cupido threads the needle and a penalty marker down. Ball. Pass interference, number 29 on the defense. By rule, the ball will be placed at the two-yard line with an automatic first down. Plays. This is the longest Minnesota drive of the season, 18th play. Here's the handoff, Thomas slashing off the right side of the end zone, touchdown! Jay Thomas, the redshirt freshman from Oakdale, Minnesota, came to the fore in this drive. Two-yard touchdown run, Klinkenborg unable to prevent him from getting into the end zone. Mitch Brown and the offensive coordinator from Minnesota talked about the desire to have the one-two punch. Pinnix and then who else? And maybe Thomas is that guy. He certainly was on that drive. Jason Janini. The extra point is good. Well, and if they're a change-up type of guy, that's even better. First down for the Iowa Hawkeyes, who trail once again. Tate to the air. Let's it go late. Oh, my goodness. And he's got Damian Sims with a running run down the sidelines. Across the 50. Inside the three-yard pass play. First down for the Iowa Hawkeyes. Sims again. Waited as patiently as he could and then just went under the art pass play to Andy Brodell. Tate rolling out. Got a block from Sims and makes the throw to Brodell for the first. Like he was thinking more about the thumb than he was about the game. Joins Chuck Long, Matt Rogers, and Matt Sherman as the only three-year starters at quarterback in Iowa history. Sims breaking free again inside the 25. With that left thumb, normally you would hand it off with just one hand going to the right. He does it with two because of that thumb. Moyaki, the tight end in motion on first down, and here's Sims again. Steps through a nice hole off the right side of the offensive line. Second and five. This time, Albert Young rides away. First and goal, Hawkeyes at the eight-yard line of Minnesota. 
Why not keep it on the ground? Young inside the five to the doorstep. And here today, 10 carries, and he's getting after it. Quick count, Young trying to dive in, and I believe he got... They're working overtime right now. Again, two tight ends on the line. They get motion up front, and here's the handoff to Young. He's in the end zone. Touchdown, Hawkeyes. Well, strap on your seatbelts. We've got a good one going now. Tied at 13 of the Hawkeyes. An extra point away from taking the lead. Yeah, with this track meet beginning, we might have to think of that mixed, missed extra point early in the game, right? That may be back on the table here before long. Could be a factor an hour and a half from now, you bet. Funny how those things... Yep, you never know when those things are going to come back to haunt you. <laughs> Innocent little missed extra point the first quarter, and by the end of the day, you're sitting there saying, boy, I wish we had that point. The extra point here is good by Kyle Schlicker. Well, both. First down for the Golden Gophers. Let's see if they have an answer for the Iowa score as we seesaw through this first half. From the Minnesota 20, Pinnix trying to follow the fullback, has to cut it back on his own. Miguel Merrick brought him down. And Madison says, I wish he had said something because uh, the next day he had appendicitis. They took his appendix out. And he was back the next week. That's the epitome of a tough Iowa football player. This ball was trapped by Logan Payne, according to the third and 10 at the Minnesota 20. Four receivers set, Cupido to the air. And Logan Payne digs it out of there. Got a first down for Minnesota. Decker, the man in motion. Cupido hit by Madison as he lets it go deep down the middle. to become the first team of these two today to go three and out. Two plays later, they're in the end zone, kicking an extra point to take. First and 10. Davian Sims looking to cut it back <laughs> behind the uh, block or there. The spectacular plays, but then he boots the, the more mundane plays. Tate dropped incomplete. Third and seven from the Hawkeye 23. Tate under a blitz. Gets it over the middle for a first down. And the quarterback finds him. It is first down. Tate quick toss to the flank. Wide receiver screen. Strauss this time is the blocker. Grigsby, the receiver, and did the ball come loose? No, they had whistled the play dead. It's still Iowa football. The Hawkeyes. Drew Tate off to a pretty good start. He has fumbled here, and that led to a Minnesota scoring drive. Quick toss to the flank. Strauss once again got a first down into Minnesota, down to the Minnesota 49. Grigsby again in motion. Tate play action, deep drop. Rifles it over the middle. Chandler, his senior tight end, inside the 30, and down he goes near any offense. Drew Tate has hit eight different receivers. That's Iowa offense at its best. Now they switch it up on the ground. Damian Sims, four of them, but there's not that trust factor as much as you would hope there would be. Yeah, the number one thing you have to bring is ball security. Yeah, absolutely. Tate on second down, quarterback draw. And Drew Tate just short of the first down. Third down at about two. Tate rolling. Grigsby can't hang on. Kyle Schlicker. 11 of 17 in the field goal department, 9 of 12 inside of 40, and he's got this one through the uprights. So the Hawkeyes get some points out of that. Here's the kickoff by Signar. And Jones takes it out of there. To the 15, to the 20. And Jones roped out across the 20 near. Lupino was able to find those guys on a more consistent basis. First and 10 of the 23. 
Thomas once again. We do not have any markers down here. It's going to be holding a wide receiver out on the edge trying to block for Penix. Ten yard penalty from the spot of the foul. Repeat first down. And Mike Chambers, Wayne number 12, the receiver on the sidelines. First and 18. Quick toss, wheel right, not expecting it there in the pass. And as you said many times this year, you want to throw the football to the spot where the blitz came from, especially if it's off the edge. Open over the middle, here comes Thomas. Jay Thomas accelerates into Iowa territory. Lincolnborg, you saw him come in on the blitz. First down. Phoenix back into the lineup. Coop it over to the sidelines, intercepted. Miguel Merritt, pass underthrown. Intended for Ernie Wheel right, and the Hawkeyes get a big stop here. Miguel Merrick with his third interception of the season. Man, that's one of those passes, Wayne, as Cupido is saying right now, is I thought I could get the ball high enough. You see the defender, but you're expecting to throw a different pass. You're expecting to throw the ball just a little bit higher where your 6-2 receiver can go up and get it or nobody gets it. First down for the Hawkeyes, Albert Young to the boundary side. Driving defenders close to the first. And plays himself and moving this ball down the field and taking advantage of this big turnover. Young, first down and more. It's Good. one thing to be knocked on the head when you're winning. It's a whole other thing when you're losing. Tate on first down. Going deep. Got his man. Andy Brodell inside the side. 47 yard pass play. Brodell shaking up. Here comes Albert Young around the end. Good play made by Dominic Jones coming up from his. Into it, isn't he? He's got his hands full. He and his crew have their hands full today. Lots of yards, especially through the air. Tate. Lots of time. Over the middle, Albert Young. Charles brings him down. Absolutely great story in college football. Third down and one for the Hawkeyes inside the four of Minnesota. To the fullback, Bush. Did he take off too early? Stacked up, right down and goal to go, Hawkeyes. Just outside the three yard line of Minnesota. Young, the lone setback. Three receivers set. Play action, Tate over the top. Intercepted. Mike Charles picked it off with the one yard line and is down. Swing right before halftime. Second interception of the season for Mike Sherrills. Tate can't believe it. Neither can his offensive coordinator. Yeah, play action pass and then the tight end over the top coming into the screen. And Sherrills just doing a great job of reading the quarterback's eyes. I don't think he ever saw Sherrills. Sherrills and that end zone view from behind the play. I don't think he ever saw him. I think the lineman in front of him obscured his view of number 58, Mike Sherrills. And the lineman can get up on that quick drop and cut the lineman to the ground, but you can't get to a linebacker that quickly. So as we reach halftime, the inner leading his teammates. KM first half highlights for you right there. It's opening kickoff, second half. Dominic Jones. Did his knee go down inside the 25 for Minnesota? Well, the Gopher's been pretty good under Glenn Mason when leading at halftime. Amir Penix for about four yards. They don't care. You, you don't have to gash him for nine or ten yards, but get one or two or three or four yards. Something positive on first down. And that's what the Gophers have been able to do. To the outside, Phoenix making a good spin move. Kept that alive into Iowa territory. In that type of offense. First down just inside the 49-yard line of Iowa. Cupido under a blitz. Got his man open. Decker was wide open. Logan Payne shaking up earlier in the ball game at the top of your screen comes in motion. He figured prominently early in this game. Cut back. Amir Penix. Inside the 15. Two tight ends on the line for Minnesota. Second and short. Thomas took on Humple, the linebacker, and is shoved back. Tough this season. Iowa has struggled defensively, and that's not the norm. 
back, so to speak. Thomas around the end, got back to the line of scrimmage, and maybe two down to the... To the corner of the end zone, over the shoulder catch, Logan Payne. Third down play for the Iowa defense here, wouldn't Absolutely you? Absolutely gigantic. Minnesota, three of six and third down conversions. Here comes Jeffrey. Cupido. Short pattern, Pinnix. And penalty marker down. Pinnix, it's close to the first down. Klinkenborg got over there, among others. Penalty marker down. And Payne, I don't know who's going to be called for it, but Payne got hogtied and, and actually tackled in the end zone. Pass interference. Number 84 on the wow. offense. <laughs> 15-yard penalty from the previous spot. Payne is at the top, the very top of your screen. Four receivers set. Everybody out for a pass. Coop it up to Logan Payne. Bradley Fletcher equal to the task. Gain of a yard. 40-yard field goal attempt as long this season as 41. Does he have it on line? Nope. Pushed it. As the offensive receiver does. And then, instead of Janini attempting the field goal, Joel Monroe tried his first field goal of the season, and he missed from 40 yards. Now the Hawkeyes, Dominique Douglas, first flag down, as you can see right there as well. Way back on oh, the other side, yeah. Number 73 on the offense. Ten-yard penalty from the previous spot. Repeat first down. And that's on that Iowa front playing their final Big Ten games. Mike Jones, Mike Elgin, and Marshall Yanda. First down and long. Young trying to break free, gets what he can to the 21 yard middle of that uh, schedule once again. North Dakota State gave him a heck of a game yeah, up they here. they absolutely did right here in the dome. Drew Tate, downfield. Douglas once again, first down yardage to the... And continue to move the sticks. There's the average yards on first down. That's why these two teams have piled up so many yards in this game. Tate, what does he have? Not much. He escapes out of bounds near the 40 and a late flag. Maybe for a clip. Yep. Clipping. Number 35 on the offense. That's a 15-yard penalty from the spot of the foul. Unit Tate was basically past him and he was going to go out of bounds in the vicinity of the 40. Albert Young looking for running room, and the Gophers close quickly. Young out to the 30. That's a gain of this drive. See if they get, get it done the second time around. Second and 17. Tate juggled and caught out of bounds. They're not they're going to say incomplete. Trey Drew Tate has hit 10 different receivers with passes. His favorite receiver, the guy who's open. Third and long. Blitz coming. Tate going deep. Intercepted. Mannion taking it back the other way. The safety, the walk on inside the 40, out of bounds at the 35 yard line. Redshirt sophomore walk on out of Germantown, Wisconsin. And he sets up Minnesota first down. Third Iowa turnover of the day. Second interception for Tate. And Mannion is just playing center field. You can see him right there, number 28, right in the middle of your screen, and he's just looking at the quarterback, playing as deep as the deepest, and when the ball's in the air, you go make a play. Chandler is running the seam right there down the, the hash, and absolutely is not the place to go if you have a deep safety in the middle of the field in a third and long situation. Gophers leading by three, golden opportunity here. Phoenix hit behind the line. And down he goes. Oh, an excellent play by him. sitting here as a layman saying, what's he throwing at? Coming up on seven minutes to go in the third. Here's Cupido. Oh, he had Pinnock's open down the middle. Overshot. Ernie Wheel 35. It's third and 12 to the Iowa 37. Minnesota just three of seven now on third down conversions. Pinnock the lone setback. Cupido. Grab made and a first down oh, short of a Amir Pinnix the long setback. That's Spath on the wing. Cupido under a blitz. Quick release. Spath's got it. First down inside the 20. Merrill. What was a pit point yep. and should have been called for. He sure did. Thomas around the end. Edmund Miles, the linebacker. 
if they are discovered by the authorities. They're illegal. You're right. Oh, I forgot that part. <laughs> There's another layer to that rule. To the outside. Breaking tackles inside the five. Jay. Really finishing plays this season. Double tight ends on the line. Logan Payne on the wing. Cupido lost to the end zone. And Matt Spath on senior day has a touchdown. one of the all-time favorite players under coach Glenn Mason. The coach just loves this kid. As we mentioned, he's playing with a shoulder that should be surgically repaired, should have been surgically repaired three weeks ago. It'll be repaired after the season, but he's a kid who said, ask the doctors when he went down with that shoulder injury, do I have a chance? With the ball, it's that simple, right? <laughs> it's, it's basically a simple game, yes. Sometimes we try to make a brain surgery, but it's not. Albert Young ran to daylight. That's what has ended in interceptions, and so they've got a new quarterback on hand, Jake Christensen. Albert Young. Tonight. Very quiet, and they're going to need a whole lot more of it right now, especially with Christensen in the game. Young again. Looks like a steady diet. Good run there. At some point in time, you have to say, hey, no one player, regardless of how much he's given to this program, is bigger than the team. Absolutely right, Wayne. I couldn't agree more. Steady diet of running plays here. This time, Damian Sims and not much there. Mike Sher Offensively, they need players that will play within the scheme and not go outside of that to try to make plays. Second down for the Hawkeyes. Christensen, a left-hander, as you can see. Dominique Douglas, the freshman, has come alive here in the third quarter, makes it. Douglas at the bottom of your screen, that's Brodell at the top. Christensen, intercepted. Mario Reese, the lone gopher senior on defense, makes the interception. Four turnovers by Iowa, three via interceptions. matter who you're going to have a quarterback if you throw into coverage the results going to be the same Minnesota on top as we near the late stages of the third interceptions for the Iowa offense another long day for Kirk Ferentz and company Minnesota by 10 Jay Thomas having it have a chance Cupido's just doing a much better job on the year than Tate has done, and then Christensen on that play. Cupido, quick screen. Logan Payne taken down one on one in the flat by Marcus Wilson against Logan Payne. First and 10, Minnesota. At the Gopher, 48. Thomas. Hit hard down near the 45, the Hawkeye 45. Gophers by 10, 70 seconds to go in the third. Trying to get to the outside and not finding much there. On the ground, Pittix exploding straight ahead inside the 40 to the Iowa 30 not first down. Decker beautifully led. Red zone taking full advantage of those turnovers, which is the obviously the key. Cupido, Amir Pittix. Nice play in the open field made by Minnesota doesn't worry about going for it on fourth down. They will go for it on fourth down. But there isn't going to be a fourth down on this particular set of downs. Comes into play. That's big in these programs. Double tight ends on the line. Thomas straight ahead. Running hard right at the Iowa defense. Down to the 20-yard line again. Yep, we saw him go out earlier in the game. And again, they hunker down with two tight ends. Thomas running straight ahead. This time the Hawkeyes respond. So it'll be third. Try to come up with a play right here. Third down. Third down for Minnesota. Just outside the Iowa 20. Penalty markers down. False start, Minnesota. Norm Parker was bringing pressure that time, which he doesn't like to do. Illegal snap by the center on the offense. Five-yard penalty 
Still third. No down. more difficult. Third and nine. Exactly why Mitch Browning ran the football in a great cross up call, getting Penix into the end zone. The ultimate cross up call. The extra point is good. First down for the Iowa Hawkeyes. And Drew Tate back in at quarterback. And fighting forward. To come out now, his team needs him desperately to get back in this lane. Nice throw. Down the sidelines, Andy Brodell, who's had a very good day here today. 18 yards and a touchdown of the first half. Quick toss to the flank. Chandler running downhill. Great textbook tackle made by Jamal. Second and ten. Four-man rush. Tate has time. Nice throw to Douglas. First down inside the gopher 40. <laughs> David Lockwood, the defensive coordinator of the Golden Gophers, signaling in from the sidelines. First down for the Iowa Hawkeyes, Drew Tate. Good protection again. Goes underneath. And he's got his man, Andy Brodell. Once again, Brodell. It does. Maybe that's what they need right here to get him going. Three receivers set. That's big Scott Chandler in the slot, top of your screen. First down. Douglas cannot escape, and he's thrown out of bounds. Red zone, which isn't nearly enough. They're usually more efficient at getting touchdowns when they get down there. Second down. Tate looking around. Rodell again. If you pick up this first down. Young. First down and more. First and goal. Down near the five-yard line. Iowa trying to get back in it. Young, chased to the outside, got by Hightower, and then has to try to pile drive a couple of different Brodell at the bottom of your screen. Young trying to cut it back. Cheryl's made a great play. The... Brodell, last minute direction from Tate. Play action. Tate hesitates. Tate chased, still on his feet. Trying to make a play to the back line of the end zone. Touchdown, Chandler! A magical Drew Tate escape. And he gets the Hawkeyes right back in it. All that for a three-yard touchdown pass. If you want to encapsulate Drew Tate's play, you put that one in the capsule along with the fact that he's just coming off of being benched. He responds well to it and gets his team in a in the end zone in a important time in the football game. The extra point is good, and it's a 10-point ball game with with eight, over eight minutes left and three timeouts. A little pop fly kick, fair catch signal made, and it's mucked out of bounds on the far side. It's possible as well. They could both end up in a rematch in the championship game. Jack Simmons came off sides prematurely. Number 80 on the offense, five-yard penalty, still first down. All right, Iowa's back in the game. They're down by 10, still over seven minutes to go in the contest, but it is impact. First in 15. Phoenix around the corner. Klinkenborg makes the tackle. Quarterback in place of Bradley Fletcher, who saw a lot of action his way earlier today. Second and 10. Thomas. And again, the Hawkeyes able to cut him off of the pass. He got a yard, maybe two. Minnesota by 10, under six minutes to go for the game. Third and seven of the 31. Gupido. Pass tipped up into the air, incomplete. I believe job. He covered Spaeth anyway if that ball gets through. Justin Kusick. Chasing it back to the 15-yard line, Dominique Douglas. 
They fake the reverse. Douglas stepping by defenders across the 30 is spilled near the 37-yard line of Iowa. Drew Tate in the shotgun. Nice catch. Douglas across the 50 to Minnesota's 40. Now. Moyaki cannot hang on. Right here is a slot receiver. Moyaki is standing up at the top side. Chandler, a former wide receiver. Tate on second and 10. Decisive throw. And sitting right down in the uh, soft stage. Moving toward the big tight end Chandler and Douglas on the left side. Tate to the sidelines. This time, Brodell unable to hang on. Jason Manson, backup quarterback, flanked high on your screen. Over the middle. Nicely done. Boy, they had some pressure on that play. Third down and five for Iowa. At the Minnesota 28. Tate on his own. Didn't get there. Either of them yeah, no or his side. No question about it. <laughs> Fourth down, Hawkeyes. At the Minnesota 25, fourth and two. Young slipped and down he went under that. Minnesota's lead is 10. Phoenix stopped for a moment behind the line, got a yard out to the 26. Ah! Minnesota on second down. Jay Thomas has had the game of his collegiate career to this. Bowl eligible, and they're on the verge of doing just that. Gained of a couple of yards in time. The coaching, and as the season went along, they got better. That's the way it works. Phoenix again trying to pile drive and get what he can. Their quarterback, Cupido, most of the passing records in Minnesota is one of those players. And once again, getting the call. Phoenix, Douglas back deep. High snap. Kusick able to get it away. Douglas makes a play on it. And the kick pretty well covered by the Golden Gophers. Out across the chair, and it was necessary on this afternoon. Wheelwright, 64-yard touchdown bomb, his only catch of the day. So Drew Tate marshalling the Hawkeyes. And Dominique Douglas gets a, what a step forward for a very young program in terms of the, the way the kids are, the, the youth of the uh, players in this program. Second down for Tate. Nice throw over the middle. Tate on first and ten. All day. Tough throw there. Nobody could get open. Two and six in Big Ten play. Minnesota will rise to six and six. Three and five in Big Ten play. Tate going deep, interception. And that is Minneapolis. 15 seconds to go, and that will do it. The senior Cupido, one of 11 seniors, wins a football game at the expense of the Iowa Hawkeyes for the first time in his Minnesota career. And the charge to take charge of Floyd of Rosedale. Congratulations to the Minnesota Golden Gophers. They are bowl eligible at 6-6 six and six on a three-game winning streak. is a 34-24 victory by Minnesota over Iowa. <laughs> Cupido, 267 yards of passing Pinnock, 119 yards rushing. Affiliates, a reminder, we will be rerunning break 21 where they came back to action a little early on us, but we will replay that break number 21. We will be back to wrap things up here at the Metrodome, but we're going to get you over to the studio. A big day in college football.
Sports Center U studio with Mike Gleason and John Cooper and company coming up. We'll be back to wrap it up after they're done.